Welcome back everyone. It's uh, now been four days since I set those three traps. It uh, doesn't take long to check three traps in the first two days we've been chasing water levels. So we'll uh, take you through those four days, how it went and what we got. As you can see, we got two beaver and an otter here. So we didn't do too bad. Still hoping for one more beaver, which I assume we will get eventually. But anyway, stay tuned and uh, we'll show you how the checks went. Well, we're headed down to check the traps. You can already see the river came up quite a bit last night, so don't really know what we're going to be in for it yet. Well, it's sprung. No beaver. Let me get this one reset quick. That's the trouble with trapping this time of year. You gotta stay on top of them because the water levels change so fast. But <clears throat> I don't know about the next one. May not even be able to get to it, but we'll find out. It's down deep though. No beaver in it. Hope for two. We'll see how we do tomorrow. So the water got us again on this one, but as you can see that marker when we first came in here we're already up to that height so maybe that's what i should have waited for and uh like i had said earlier i like to put uh chewed sticks around for just kind of an attractor <laughs> and uh i couldn't find any small ones but that one ought to do the trick <laughs> so <laughs> we'll get a beaver here eventually Hopefully today. I know a lot of guys like to set for a rear foot catch on beaver, but like right now where the water's coming up, I'll try to get it set for a front foot catch. That way if the water comes up, 
eight, ten inches, you still got a good shot of the rear foot catch, so. I like to put some fresh chewed sticks out too, it helps track them, but like I said, I jumped the gun a few days early. Should wait till the water gets at its highest and then starts dropping down. That's when the beavers are really traveling the best. But I only got a couple weeks up to trap, so we'll use what time we got. So we'll see what we got on the next one. Well, we actually got something in this trap, but looking down through the mess there, I think it's just a muskrat. We'll see. Nope. It's a young beaver. It's a beaver, nice. It's dead. So you can see the water came up a little bit and we got him by that rear foot. He can't breathe anymore. What's that? He got stuck and he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Oh, so that's how I get choked. So I have to catch it on one of its parts really hard and then and then um um it, 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 it can't breathe no more. That's how it does it. Uh, uh. I'm not to get my hand in there. So this will be the fourth check and this one here all we've seen to do so far is just keep pulling it up and well I got an otter but he's tangled not really sure how we did that but I guess better get the pistol well it wasn't exactly what we were after but big otter here big male as you can see he's pretty rugged he drug the concrete block up and got tangled around up here so he had to shoot him <clears throat> but I don't have to do that too often but <laughs> that's why I carry a pistol uh, I think we're gonna pull this one the water's still coming up here it's up another foot and a half or so since yesterday and uh, I'm hoping we got another beaver over in that other spot. We're going to check that uh, Kona bear too. So really, if I get one 50, 60 pound beaver, then that'll be enough for that little one to get us started in the fall trapping. But Well, one for one. We'll see how we do on the rest. Well, it looks like the water actually came down here on the east branch because I had the trap sitting right here and it's fired so bait sticks looks like they came up and chewed it off licked it or something but <clears throat> we missed this one I'm going to reset this one because it's right next to the house and I know we'll get a big beaver here. Get as many beavers as I want. Assuming that the water evens out. But we'll run up and check that Kona bear next. So I can verify that it was a beaver we missed. There's a, found that on the trap. A piece of webbing from between his toes. So, hopefully we get in this next time. Off to the next one. <clears throat> Smaller tracks. Yeah, it looks like a cow and a calf. Some moose tracks coming down here. 
Well, it looks like we lost a lot of snow in four days, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm working my way out on that little beaver pond there and that's a good sign and I can actually see beaver in the trap right there so we did good <laughs> get him up out of there so we can take a look at him Perfect catch on the 330. That'll give us a good bound of bait. And one thing, this is a very productive spot, but it's a bit of a hike to carry these things out of here. So I think I, I mentioned when we set up here that I would put a 330 on the upside and the bottom side of that run there, and I'd have two beavers, beaver and otter, whatever. But I'm down to one now because lugging them out isn't as fun as it used to be. So that's been four days worth of trapping on three beaver traps, two foot holds and uh, one con of bear 330. Um, got a little bit of skinning to do and hoping for one more big beaver and we'll call it a wrap for spring beaver trapping. Get some bait stored up in the freezer there for the fall and then uh, we start getting ready for fishing. Uh, probably my next video will be uh, some fly tying i'm gonna show uh probably how to tie my three favorite flies up here the ones that i wouldn't leave home without so stay tuned for that appreciate you watching please like and subscribe if you like the videos um channel's coming along nice i'm real happy with it i'm getting a lot of good feedback not a whole lot of negative so that's always a bonus so like i said stay tuned we'll be fishing soon